Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying warm. I've got the heater going again today. It's been raining a fair bit and very cold. So now I have a fair few things to show you today. You know what it's like with this online delivery stuff. <laughs> I ordered stuff from Kmart and I think I said in my last video that um, it's been coming in dribs and drabs. I don't know how they make any profit with this online stuff. They must pay that much in postage because it's all coming from different places and all getting mailed out separately. So now, so yes, um, I never know what's coming when or what. And then today I wasn't expecting anything and I got one thing delivered before I um, took my mum out shopping. And when I got home, there were another four things or something at the door. So <laughs> it's a bit of a surprise. So I've got a fair few things to show you today. I'll start with this one. This is my, I don't know if they do it monthly or quarterly. I think it's quarterly stamp bulletin. I signed up for it just recently through Australia Post. Um, I used to get them as a kid when I collected stamps and they were really cool. Um, and if, you know, you don't have much money or... Um, you don't know where to go and get ephemera and that. Um, you can always sign up to get your free stamp bulletins delivered. Now, they don't always have a lot in them, but some of the pictures can be quite nice. And all the stamp pictures and that that you can cut out. So, I, I like getting this each um, quarter and cutting it out and making ephemera with it. So, I got that. And, of course, if you want stamps, you can order them. And I got, this is my next bit from my Kmart order. Now, all this stuff, it might seem like I just bought all this stuff all at once, but it's all, all from different times when I've ordered it, and it's just taken forever to come, a lot of it. Some things come really quick, though, so... Oh, that's, I was hoping it was that. The calligraphy set that I ordered, I think these were 5 or $8 or something at Kmart. And Co, so they're cheap. A 20 piece calligraphy set but I'm not sure I've never really been good at um, I think I tried it when I was younger I wasn't very good at it so I thought well I'll grab the cheap kit and just see how I go with it so it has three pen barrels three stainless steel nibs fine medium and broad and 14 assorted ink cartridges and a calligraphy font idea sheet so I'm thinking even if I can't do it, don't like it. I might be able to use the ink for some paper dyeing or something. Just crack into it. So that's what it looks like. And there's your sheet of paper. I think I, um, from the bookstore once, I got a um, calligraphy how to do it uh, book. So I'll be able to use that. So this looks pretty cool because it shows you the directions of your strokes, which is, oh yeah, I should be able to do it. So that's the kit you get. That looks pretty neat. And yeah, by the look at the little vial things, might be a way to get them out and use them. Otherwise, if this doesn't work, but I'll give it a red hot go sometime, that's for sure. So that's pretty neat for the price, just to give it a go. So if you're interested in trying it out, go to Kmart, see if they've got any more. So that is that one. And then this is from Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Now, Michelle sells things on our um, Australian junk journal junkies boutique group occasionally. And I, I have purchased from her before. A bit of a sucker. I think some of the stamps she sells are ones that come off the magazines, which is great because um, I don't always want to buy the magazine <laughs> to get the stamps. So... Oh, she's giving me extras. Thanks, Michelle. That's awesome. So, crack into this. I'll just put that to the side. If I can grab the bottom of the bag. I don't think it's sticking anywhere. Hang on. Let's take those out. I might have to break the bag the way I'm going. I think it's just in there really well. So, 
I will break it. Because I'm desperate to get it out and have a look. So it was a card making and paper craft one by the looks. Oh, I see it's stuck to the double sided tape that the dies are stuck to. <laughs> now it's stuck to my arm. <laughs> And I loved this one. I love the cottage on it. Cottage for all seasons, build a scene, stamp and die set. And I thought this one's going to be awesome for me to try out, which I still haven't tried out yet. I don't even know where it is at the moment. I'm <laughs> probably in a box somewhere on my um, stamping platform. I've just been so busy, I haven't been able to drag it out. But that one's going to be awesome because you can use all the bits separately. I mean, you could do a winter scene, but you can use it for other stuff as well. Oh, I think that's going to be heaps of fun. And then you've got a cat and a birdhouse and a snowman and the cottage die in a frame as well there. So that's really cool. Love it. And then there's a little sort of card. Muchas gracias. Oh. Just thanking me for my YouTube videos. Thank you so much, Michelle. I so appreciate that. So I'll keep that card. That can go in my correspondence journal if I ever get around to it. Oh, some weekly planner notes. Daphne Diary one. They can go in my when I make my personal journal. And these. Oh, are they envelopes. Oh, they're gorgeous little envelopes. They are so cute. Love that. I love that. I wonder if that's the stamp set. Might be the stamp set that I got um, that was on one of the um, magazines as well. And I haven't used that either. They turned out cool. They can go I'm collecting things for Alice in Wonderland if I ever get around to it, which I will. Got a few little golden books and a few other Alice books, so. They have turned out really nicely. Very cute size too. Thank you so much, Michelle. Much appreciated. I'm going to have heaps of fun with that. All right. Now, next is this parcel. Now, this one I blame Bonnie for. Um, from Bonnie and Clive. Because I like blaming other people for my spending habits. Now... Bonnie's always rambling on about getting stuff from reverse garbage, which must be like a recycling place that's um, near, you know, local to her. And we don't have one of those here that I know of. So I was bored one day and looked online, which was deadly, and I've managed to find them in two different states so far. And they actually deliver, <laughs> which I didn't think they would. Um, however, what I got, it cost me more for delivery than it did the actual item, but I don't care. And I was actually wrapped when I got the item because it's really heavy. So I actually think it might be worth it for me because I don't know if you get these for free around here. Maybe you do if you ring a store, but I haven't seen them anywhere. So I grabbed these and I hope they're as good as I think they might be. I don't know. Let's have a look. But they're paint chip fans. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're awesome. So, <laughs> and you know, I couldn't just get one, not if I'm gonna pay delivery. <laughs> so, oh, they are gonna be so cool. Look at all the colors you get. Cause I saw Gail making things with paint chips and you know, I've seen a lot of things done with paint chips and that, but these are a bit different than the ones Gail used, but I actually almost like them better. All those colours are going to be beautiful to use. So I got one, two, three. I got five <laughs> paint chip fans. They might, I wonder if they're different too, or are they all exactly the same? The range fashion colours. They're probably all the same. But that's all right. Although they look like they might be different, don't they? Hard to tell. But that's cool. I'm going to have heaps of fun with those. And I've got enough of them that I don't probably ever need to buy them again. So so that's really cool. So, yeah, check out your um, 
you know, if you're not able to get out to the um, second-hand shops and that at the moment, um, go online and see if you've got a reverse garbage somewhere and see if they deliver and just see what they've got. You know, a lot of it you might find a bit junk in that, but I did find these on one and then on another one they had um, different size boxes of fabrics and things that you could buy and your... Um, upholstery samples and things like that so if you're having trouble sourcing things um go and check them out see what you can find it might cost that bit extra because of the postage but you know if you're hanging out then it's worth it now this one i'm excited about i did an order from rayleigh at crafts from my dungeon so, and this has come out really quick. So I did the paint chips. I only ordered the paint chips, I think. Oh, it might have been last Friday, I think. So they've, they've come really quick. And so has this. So. so thank you, Rayleigh. I'm, will anyone that I mention, I um, will try to remember to link below so you can check them out. Rayleigh does awesome videos on recycling um, things for her journals and other crafts. So, oh, here's one of her recycled little tags. They're tiny little ones. I love that size. And that will have to go in my correspondence journal as well. Isn't that cute? See how cute is that? Just scraps of material on that must do. That is a good idea to use up them little, little tiny bits that you sort of can't find a use for, but I can't throw out. So some butcher's paper, which I'll be able to reuse. I'll do some stamping on that. Use it under some of my other projects and get some color on it. And then I can collage with it. Oh. Look how nicely packaged that is. If I ever open an Etsy, I'm going to have to make some effort, aren't I? So there's a note here. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. So, apparently she's added a happy mail to this that she's been meaning to send to me. Thank you, Rayleigh. That'll brighten my day. And something about the bling that is around my happy mail was found in her time capsule. I did see a video about her time capsule. I'm going to have to revisit that. It screamed out my name when she found it. <laughs> is it this bling? Oh, there's my happy mail, the hat bling. <laughs> All right, so we'll leave the happy mail to afterwards. There's another one of her beautiful, I do love them. And it's got some mesh stuff, which I have heaps of. Yes, I must buy more off of people on Etsy and that because I do get so inspired when I, I thought that I didn't need to see things up close to get inspired, but you do really helps and look I've got some lovely washi tape so I'll be salvaging all of that as well so this will be my order and some nice pattern oh this must be that Chinese I think she's been showing some is this the Japanese writing paper or something should be careful with it shouldn't I it's like tissue paper so I'll keep that and reuse it that'll be nice for collaging as well it's all wrapped so nicely that to the side all right this says envelopes let's start with that one and it looks like she's recycled like all the packaging and that's recycled as well which is really cool so I'm trying to keep all of my packaging and that now so I can recycle most of it too it's such a good idea Awesome. So you'll have to go out and check out her Etsy. 
I was looking for some bits that I can use to make some ephemera and that, so they're the little, I can't remember what you call these things. They're not seed packets, but your little envelopes. Name, class and amount. They look like school ones, don't they? But I love the craft paper that they're on. It's really cool. So I'll be able to alter them. I'll probably put some of them in, a, in my um, virus journal too and just leave them as they are. And then some of these ones as well. Love them. Because I don't, you know, I've been gifted like one or two of this sort of thing, but I don't have many and I find it hard to use them if I don't have a good amount. All right, let's do, oh yeah. So I also ordered some, she has microfish um, film stuff, which I've never sort of seen before. I've got like slides and I've got... Um, you know, photo negatives and that, but these looked really interesting. And I love um, using different things in my journals at times, depending on the theme. I thought these were really cool. Oh yeah, so you can see all the writing. The Buddha and the computer, career guidance in Taiwan. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so that's your microfiche, fish, microfiche, would it be cool? They are really cool. They'll go nicely in a vintage journal, I reckon. So put them to the side. Now it says cambric gauze. Love the labels you've done too. And they're on like recycled little bits of paper too. And they look really cool. Mm. They look typed. So I hope you're all getting some crafting done. I have a journal that I have to finish by the end of this month, which is today. <laughs> so I really shouldn't be doing this and I should be doing that. Um, I only have a little bit left to do on it though, so a few of the finishing touches. So I must do that afterwards so I can get it videoed. Oh yeah, that's right. A sign that I... <laughs> I was looking at the gauze on her tags and saying, oh, I've got a whole heap of that. Of course I have, because I ordered some. <laughs> oh, I love that. Another one of her tags, and look, it's got my favourite colours, purple and green. So that'll go in my friend's journal, that one. That is gorgeous. Or maybe my purple and green journal, if I ever make it. But I love it. But yeah, some really sheer gauze. It's almost like, yeah plaster sort of gauze stuff love it though nice and fine and sheer so awesome thank you so much for all of that it's a pleasure ordering from you and getting some different everyone's got such different stuff in their shops which is really cool so my happy mail that is really bright <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to keep it for a journal for Chrissy someday. <laughs> All right, just take that off. Let's see what weird and wonderful stuff she's swacked in my happy mail. Oh, I think that, that is it. I can reuse that bag. Oh, maybe that's what she means. I have to check out her time capsule thing again. It's purple and green. <laughs> it's quite psychedelic, that, isn't it? <laughs> Just pull it off. Look at that trim. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> it's bright. All right, so let's have a look. One of her napkin envelopes. Envelope pocket. I can use that. I think in which journal I'll put that one in. That is really cool. I have to do some of those. It's like a recycled envelope with your book page and then your napkin. 
And then she crochets onto the buttons. They are really cool. And look, she's given me purple and green ones. Thank you. <laughs> oh, they're going to be so cool. I'm going to have to put some of them on my cover. Isn't that cool? I've been meaning I'd started learning crochet, but yeah. Then I'd started doing other things. I always get sidetracked. They are beautiful. Love them. They can go back in there. And this bundle of goodies. Ooh. It's in one of those bags that I can never open. Let's have a look. Beautiful butterflies. And they've got gems on the middle. Oh yeah, so they're like puffy ones. They're really cool. Definitely use those. They're really cool and they feel really nice too. And this, all oh, their skulls. It's like a bracelet. I hope you can see the little skulls. I love that. So that'll be for a goth journal. Oh, there's two of them, so plenty. Awesome, thank you. I knew it would be weird and eclectic mix of things. Uh, some little, little girls. They look like 60s or 70s outfits. They're cool. Some bling, haven't seen this stuff before. That's really cool. It's funny how they're so light. They look like metal, but they're not or whatever, but they look cool. And more bling. Oh, that's awesome. I haven't seen that either. So many little goodies to play with. And some of your, I'm gonna say, index cards. Is that what they're called? I just had a brain fade. Awesome. Be able to alter them. And we've got some papers here. Oh lovely dyed papers must smell can't smell coffee they look coffee dyed but can't smell coffee which is probably a good thing <laughs> oh cool i've been watching her do these like your master boards or your collages with just scraps of magazine and all sorts and hers turn out so good too they stuck down really well. When I use the glossy stuff, they don't tend to stick down very well. This is cool. I reckon these are my awesome little journal covers. And some of her jelly printing. I reckon she did that over the top of one of her jelly prints. Look at that, that looks cool. Must get out my, my jelly print thingy thing. Puffy, puffy thing. Jelly plate, that's the one. <laughs> I was getting there. That's awesome. I will use it as a cover, I reckon. Look at that, isn't that luscious? Some graph paper. It's all nice and soft too. I'm gonna have to get some paper dyeing tips off of you. That's lovely, feels really nice. And some of this, I remember learning to write cursive on that. They look like burnt edges. They might just be inked. I don't know. That is really cool. I should just use them, shouldn't I, with that? And make a journal. Like with the bits that you've given me. more of that. It's a bit different though, that one. I don't know if I ever used that paper at school. I'm so slack with my um, tea and coffee dyeing. That's come out really nice with the um, splotches on it, the bubbles. Really cool. Nice and grungy that is. Some 
diary paper. I must do that. I've got stacks and stacks of diaries around here that I keep because I've written in half of them. Look at those splotches too. They're really cool. And some of this is that mulberry paper. Something like that. Or just your botanicals stuck in the paper. That's really nice. Thank you so much, Ray Lee. I love it all. Very eclectic mix, a bit like me. Um, yeah, that's gonna be heaps of fun to play with. So much, much appreciated. I made my day. So I'm gonna have, yeah, heaps of fun with all your envelopes and your microfiche and those skulls. They're gonna be cool, so awesome. All right, and then as I said, I did go shopping with my mum and she gave me some chocolates. So I got some chocolates for my crafting, which is necessary. And then I was sitting in the car waiting for her out the front of the news agents. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, but I got two magazines. I've got this one, I'll open it up. This is the card making and paper craft. I'm trying to see which issue it is. I was a sucker for this one though. Issue 204 of January. But yeah, and it's dogs and cats, but I love the fireplace. And all the dog ones and stuff too. You're the cat's whiskers. All you need is love and a... Oh, and then it's got dog or cat down there. A house is not a home without a... Yeah. But yeah, I really love the fireplace and all the animals, but you could use the fireplace for anything. And then it's got an embossing folder as well. So the footprints. So that'll be fun to play with. It's a 25 piece card making collection, it says. So I assume it has um, papers with it. So I lashed out a bit, but it was, um, you know, up till now I've been isolating pretty well and I haven't really um, bought much of this sort of thing. And, um, so it's, um, okay, my payday splurge now. Probably stay home a lot until um, for another fortnight. So let's have a look. What else have we got? Yeah, papers. So they're colourful, aren't they? So it looks like just, is that just the four or six? Oh, I've got those ones. So that's cool. And then of course you've got the magazine. I think that was it for that one. Yep. And then I did grab this one, which I shouldn't have usually limited myself to only the one, but the embossing folder on this. I've got lots of hearts, but yeah, I sort of got attracted. Oh, and then it's got stamps as well. This has a lot in it, this one. Uh, this is issue, does it say? Issue 201 of car, Simply Cards and Paper Craft. Uh, and love the look of the embossing folder. So much you could do with that because you can emboss and colour them in all different ways and cut them out or whatever. So, and it's got the heart shape in the middle with the die by the looks. Yeah, cut, oh, cut and emboss at the same time. Maybe the die is actually, it stays in there. Whether you can take it out or not, I don't know, but it wouldn't really matter anyway. But that's cool. So there's that. And then that's got this stamp set as well. So that's a nice bonus. So you can make a whole lot of different styles of cards with those, which is cool. Now that I'm getting into trying all these different things, it's handy to for me to learn about it all. And then I went to the antique shop. I've been there for ages. I ducked in, asked them if they had any papers and that. They have, you know, their prices are pretty high on stuff, and they've had a um 
postcard album there for months and months now. It's like $200. It's full of all your really nice antique postcards. But I'm not, I said to him, I want, you know, I'll give you 50 for it. And she just laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> so so then she was taking my details down because she said um, they might be able to ring me if they get any papers and that in because I'm sort of saying I want cheap. <laughs> and her husband must have overheard me and shoved these out the door. So a whole lot of postcards and he gave them to me at a really good price too. And a lot of them, they're not the best ones. Some of them are really cool though and some of them are actually of um, local places. There's even one of the uh, local creek in the town that I live. So that's really cool. And this one's is um, Torrens Lake in Adelaide. So, so they're not the best, but they're obviously very, very old. And the good thing is that a lot of them have the writing and the stamps. So I think they'll be pretty cool. So I grabbed them. The price was good for what they are and that. So and that one, it's very old. What's that? Alga. I don't know what that is. So yes, that was pretty good score. And there was also this, it's a postcard book now. This is really old, I think. I'll have to look for a date somewhere on it. But look at the coloration on them. And then they've got your um, paper in between, like tissue paper, it's so brown. Yeah, we'll have to try and find a date for these, but they're definitely antique, these ones. There's a book of them. So that was cool. And then the, um, oh, there's another one of the postcards. The antique store is on the same street as the local address shop, so I popped in there as well. I had a look at the books. They must have cleared out heaps and heaps of books, which was a bit of a shame, really. They didn't have as many, you know, as they usually do, and not that I need books, so that was good. So I didn't end up getting any, I don't think, of the actual book books. But I did get, which I'm getting a collection of these, but. And I had a quick look, wasn't going to get it, but this one is beautiful. Victorian photo album, a bouquet of flowers. So they are quite big, but oh, I just couldn't help myself because they are just beautiful. So we'll see. Might have to make some big journals. <laughs> I try to just get the smaller ones so that they're good um, size for covers, but yeah it's so pretty and uh adra has really good prices on this sort of thing probably a dollar or something for that so at that price it's hard to go past um they had these two not quite sure what they are but they say they're ret rectangular boxes and then it goes on about like fabric and stitching stuff and stuff but I'm thinking that they're just little chipboard boxes that you can decorate however you like so they were two dollars each in the end and I thought they might be really cool to decorate with some papers and do up so that will be something to do in the future and I'll probably be able to use them for some uh, craft storage and then I raided the card section um, because they were cheap for a change. Most of the op shops are two to three bucks per card, which is ridiculous. You know, you can get them cheaper at the Smoke Mart, new for a dollar or whatever. But this place had them 10 cents each or um, six for 50 cents. So um, there weren't a lot in there and not many good ones, but I do like the, this picture. And even to cut out the flowers, I'd cut them out and use them. That'd be cool in an Easter journal in the future. And I love the bridge on this one. And I love the bunny, of course, and the eggs in that one. So that could be for next year's um, little golden book journals. 
and then these were 20 cents by the looks but i think she gave these to me because i said um i said they didn't have a price on but this one does <laughs> i said they didn't don't have a price but they were in with the cards so she goes oh you could just have them or whatever so but this one was meant to be 20 cents but i recently well for the little golden book journal i made i made little um bags with the wrapping paper and they turned out really well and kerry sawyer she um sent me some uh, made with they look like they were made with wrapping paper and i love the way they look so i want to make a whole heap of them because usually i walk past the wrapping paper because i don't really like it and don't know what to do with it but little bags really cool so I grabbed that for a sea themed one and then I grabbed this with the teddy bears because the teddy bears are too cute. It looks quite vintage too. But I have someone in mind for that, so put that to the side. Um, I grabbed a scarf because you might remember that I used this sort of material scarf in a project before, like napkin. Um, just cut bits off and stuck it down really loved the way it looked and because this is like leopard print or whatever um, it Does it have leopards? Oh, it has leopards on it. Didn't notice that. Thought that'd be really cool And I had a dollar clothes Rack so I just grabbed this one. I like the fabric actually too. It's very nice cotton or something um, but I mainly got it for the little daisies in there. Grunge them up a bit and put them on a nature journal. Oh, I found this. Adhesive Christ Almighty Sticky Notes. <laughs> this is for someone else too. <laughs> I think I know someone who actually might, might like it. What does it say? Would Jesus do it? Yes, no, maybe, hell no. <laughs> Would I do it? Yes, no, God knows. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, definitely going to send this off to this person. <laughs> and then... I'll show these next. Grab these. Look at these for earrings. They would weigh your ears down. Your ears would be sagging near your feet. But I just love those charms. So I can see them on the front of a journal or for a dangle or something. And of course, you know, being earrings, you get the two of them. So look at the jewels in there too. Lovely. So I grabbed those. And then just, I had um, some little bags of different laces. I hope you aren't offended by me showing you this stuff. But I'm hoping that it like gives people like hope as well. That we are getting there and it won't be long. And, um... You know, I should be able to get out soon and do these little things that we enjoy doing as long as we, I suppose, practice our social distancing and that. So that one's lovely. It's sort of a cream colour. Little daisies. I really like that. I don't have much of a look in the store because I just see lace at that price and grab it because it's very cheap there, which is great. So it should be in secondhand shops. And then this nice sheer narrow one. A black one, that's lovely too. I'm getting a bit low on my blacks. Um, got little bits of the, a few, but not a lot, so that will be great. Yeah, well, these bags were, like, that was 20 cents. This one was 50 cents, the black one, so very decent price there. And another beautiful off-white with flower pattern. Fair stack of that as well. So that was good fun. As I said, you know, I just got those, the magazines and the um, little bits from the shops, and then I come up to all them packages, and now I feel so way spoiled. <laughs> But I'm going to spoil myself more because I'm heading off now to eat some chocolate and I'm hoping that'll give me the energy to finish this journal off because once I've done that, I'm going to do a personal project for the evening. So, so I hope you're all well and having a good day and I will see you again soon. Take care. Um, be good. See you later.